all our chains undone. shall be impossible nothing shall be impossible your kingdom reigns unstoppable and we'll shout your praise forevermore Jesus our God unstoppable nothing shall be this crowd back here. Wasn't they great? How about that? Give it up for this group. They got here on time. That hour of sleep did not bother them a bit. Look at them. Don't they all look wide-eyed? That's why the lights are down a little bit low. Just say yes. Hey, what a day. What a day. You know, every day at Hillview is a day of celebration. You know that? Am I on? You all hear me? I just check it. Every day at Hillview is a day of celebration of what God is doing. And today is a day that we marked a special day to celebrate that the end of 27 years and the beginning of 28 years. Is that the way that goes? Do you know Pastor Steve came here 27 years ago? And, and I'm grateful because of yielding where he was to come to a place like Hillview in that day. Folks, if you've not been here, if you've been here less than five years, this was not the Hillview he came to. It was a little building over next door with 30, a group of 30 that we're indebted to who gave over their rights to a traditional church to become a place for all people. I mean, look around. This is a place for all people. And so not only do we celebrate 27 years for Pastor Steve, but we appreciate what God's done in the life of our church, aren't you? So today we celebrate not only Pastor Steve and what has happened and those that have come before, but God continues to pour in so that we can celebrate today. And so we're grateful to be part of that. This morning we know that there's some folks that are out there that
that today is their first day to attend Hillview Heights Church, and we just want to say welcome to you. If you wouldn't mind just taking your bulletin and filling out this, this information and then taking it across to the Connect desk, we've got a little gift for you. We'd like to say welcome and, and be part of that. If that's a little too much for you, if you'll just drop it in that offering bag, that's the second day. We'd rather meet you face to face, though, if you'd do that. Every week, I get those connection cards across my desk, and I see something marked on that. How do I become a member of Hillview Heights Church? And next, on the 21st, on Wednesday night, the 21st, at 6 o'clock in the chapel, Pastor Steve will be there having our monthly membership seminar. If you'd be interested in that, we want to invite you to be part of that. One of those great holidays is coming. You see it? Hey, Jerry, you see that holiday in the, in, the, in the near future, and we're already preparing for Easter, so we want to make sure that you know about Easter. Holy Week is a major week here. If you're new, you don't know this, but it's a major week, and so we've already geared up for Holy Week, and so we want you to be part of that, and you'll be seeing some things coming out as early as next week about that. This morning, we're grateful that you've come to worship, and I'm going to ask you to stand. If you can stand, please stand. And I want to have a prayer, but before I do that, I want to invite you to another element of worship that we have every week here at Hillview Heights Church called Communion. And during this next worship set, if you feel the, if you feel the drawing to be part of that worship experience, there are tables around the room that have uh, bread and juice. And if you want to be part of that, we want to invite you just to come and be part of that. Would you pray with me? Father, we come before you today. We thank you for your mercy and your grace. Lord, we celebrate what you're doing, the fact that you're an amazing God. And God, you have poured out upon us. And there's nothing amazing in us as a human. But Lord, as your child, we're amazing because we are your children. The word, the word tells us that we are wonderfully made because of you. And so, Lord, we come before you today and we celebrate the fact that 27 years ago, you brought a young man, his wife, and a young son to become pastor of this church. And we pray a blessing over Pastor Steve. He's, he's more than a pastor for me. He's a friend, a brother. So, Lord, we thank you for what you've done in their lives. And uh, So, Lord, we pray a blessing over him. We pray a blessing over the next 27 years that Hillview Heights Church would continue to celebrate the fact that you are the reason that we're here, that you have blessed us beyond imagination. Father, we pray that you would bless every aspect of this service, and today we pray specifically for our time of communion, that you would uh, remind us that that bread was broken like your body, and the juice is there to resemble the blood, to remind us of the greatest act of love mankind has ever seen. So, Lord, we pray that you would accept our worship in Jesus' name. Amen.
stewards would come forward as we receive our offering. Let's pray. God, we thank you for today. Thanking you for your faithfulness to us. How you never leave us, you never forsake us. Even when we think the storm is too much, the battle's too much, you are still there. God, so we thank you for the ways that you've worked in our lives, the way you'll continue to work. We thank you for for what you've done in in the life of this church, um, what you're doing now, and the ways that you'll use this church to further your kingdom. Thank you for the ways that you've provided for us. May we never lose sight of that, God. And may you bless these tithes and these offerings to further your kingdom, God. We thank you for what you've done in our lives. And we thank you that you let us be a part of that. And so it's in your name, your powerful name we pray. Amen.
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Guys, I want you all to stand to your feet. Stand on up. We're going to lift our hands and sing. Right. We're celebrating 27 full years of Christ changing lives. Yep. That's insane. That's something that we should sing about. That's something that we should lift our hands and shout and jump about because he is good and he is faithful and he is going to free us of everything. If you have been freed, you know the power that Christ has. And if you have not, God, I pray that you will free those that are bound today, Lord. I pray that your power will just overcome them, Lord, that your spirit will fall upon them and that they would be free in your name. Let's sing to him. Change for 